Hello, my name is Kevin Biggs, and my team name is Binary Chaos. The name of this project is AutoX Watchdog. The idea for this project came from wanting to develop a system with both software and hardware components that will be required to communicate with each other using a custom protocol to send commands via text messages. The system being made will consist of two components, a hardware unit built on the Arduino platform and a mobile application developed on the Android platform. Um, what the system does is it monitors a person's vehicle uh, using sensors that are connected to an Arduino microcontroller that will detect an object that's near a sensor once it's uh, triggered. So once an object is detected by a sensor, a signal is sent to the system that will then take a picture in the direction of the triggered sensor. The image captured will then be sent over a cellular network to the device registered on the system. The user will then receive a notification that movement was detected around their vehicle at a given time and showing the image that was captured. Um, just an example, uh, here we have a suspicious person approaching a vehicle. Uh, once the sensor detects nearby movement, the camera will be aimed in that direction, capturing an image, which is then sent over the cellular network to the user's phone, which will then alert them. And from there, they can report the incident to the appropriate authorities, if it was a suspicious person or somebody that um, they didn't want around them, or say someone was following them. Um, in this scenario, you have a user that is wondering how much time they have left on their parking meter. And in there, you have a car that is parked and the parking meter has expired. So what they can do is then open up the Android application and send a command via text message over the cellular network, which is received by the hardware unit, which will then um, take that command, process it, and then have the camera take an image in the front of the car, takes that image, returns it back to the user via the cellular network, which then the user receives the image that there is in fact a parking officer in front of their car, so they can make the decision to go put more money on the meter or move it before it gets towed. So the plan and uh, schedule for this project is to have a working prototype of both the hardware and mobile application by the end of February. Uh, this will ensure enough time that can be set aside for testing and debugging to be ready for project day in late April. Um, the first order of business in order to get all this work done is will be to first assemble the hardware unit, which is the uh, Arduino and its components. And then we, from there, we will develop the software that will run this system and connect to the various components. Uh, the hardware unit will be developed on the Arduino platform, as stated before, and we will be using the C++ programming language. The target date to have a working prototype is by the end of January. Uh, after that, we will start working on the Android application that is used to interface with the unit remotely and receive alerts from that system. Uh, this application is going to be developed using the Java programming language, and this uh, application is only going to be available on the Android uh, operating system at this uh, time. Uh, the target date for this component completion is the end of February. So why do I care about this project? Um, while there are similar systems out there, I wanted to create something that gave the user control over their data without having to rely on online servers or the cloud or other various subscriptions. Um, this is a standalone system that requires just a cellular connection. Um, I also wanted to challenge myself by building my own hardware and writing the software that will interface with it. And I really enjoy working on lower levels of communication between software and hardware. And this capstone project gives me the opportunity to do just that. And just wanted to thank you for viewing this presentation.